First of all, when you want to remove a capacitor from a pill pump, be very careful because they can contain a high voltage and store it within themselves, just like a battery. However, these units can whack a little punch. They can, they can store 240 volts inside them. Before you ever touch a capacitor, get a screwdriver and short out the terminals at the top, just like that. It's very important. Otherwise, if you just go ahead and touch it, you can get a boot, a very severe one at that. Now, there's a fair few range of capacitors that can go in pill pumps. These are the common style. That's a 20 microfarad. Um, microfarad is shown by the symbol UF on the capacitor. So the most important thing when you're replacing a capacitor is look for the size of it. The size is very important. This one is 20 UF, which stands for 20 microfarad. Um, this is a similar size capacitor. This is a 20 microfarad, but this one has molded cables in it. Some pumps have molded cables, some have terminals. This fella here is a big one. Um, this is out of a spa pump. This is a 40 microfarad. These are out of high horsepower pumps, around two horsepower, three horsepower. Common sizes you look for in your average one horsepower to one and a half horsepower pump is from around a 12 to a 25 microfarad. They're the sort of numbers you need to be looking for. They're the common sizes. Now, you may find that your capacitor has got just two terminals on it. Um, this particular ones that we supply have got four terminals. But in actual fact, there is really only two terminals on every capacitor. These two terminals here, are the same terminal. I actually go down under the epoxy and back up. It's just for putting two leads on the one terminal, so to speak. So that there is one terminal, that there is the other terminal. So that's one terminal there, one terminal there, with two pins on each terminal. That's all it is. So if you've only got two wires going to your capacitor, doesn't matter which way they go, um, you can put the, 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 when you get a replacement capacitor, you put one wire on here and one wire on here, all there, it doesn't matter. As long as they go across there, that's fine. You cannot put two wires. If you've only got two wires on a capacitor, do not put them on those two terminals because they're the same terminal. That means it won't be going across the capacitor. So put one on either one of those and one wire on either one of those. Simple as that. Now, as I said before, some capacitors have uh, cables molded into them. That's just a two terminal capacitor. Basically, it's exactly the same capacitor inside here. Those two cables are going to there and the other one's going to that side. Simple as that and it doesn't matter which way they go. Um, polarity doesn't matter on capacitors. For the technically minded people, what's the function of a capacitor and electric motor? Well, the capacitor or condenser as it is sometimes called in electric motor provides a time delay on the power arriving at the start windings of the motor to make the motor start. The start or auxiliary windings are inserted in the motor at an angle to the run or main winding. This creates a starting torque, basically something to make the, the rotor in the electric motor want to rotate. The capacitor stores energy. It, it acts in part like a switch. As the capacitor stores more and more energy when the motor is turned on, it will make the passage of the energy progressively harder. In other words, it actually disconnects the start winding out of circuit as the motor gets up to speed and as the capacitor builds up more and more energy and the motor just runs on the run windings at that point. Most capacitors in pill pumps these days are rated at a high voltage around the 400 to 440 volts. You might ask, but my supply voltage is only 240 volts, why are they rated so high? It's because of the induced voltages from the motor windings in the electric motor, they result in a voltage across the capacitor that is higher than the supply voltage. The actual value depends upon the supply voltage, the motor windings and the load. Motors driving pumps at full load typically see capacitor voltages between 230 um, up to 440 volts. Uh, most capacitors these days are rated around the 400 to 440 volts for those induced spike voltages that may occur in electric motors. Just one more thing when you're sizing up your capacitor on your pool pump. Um, never go up in microfarads. Always try to stay fairly close to the mark. For example, if you've got a 22 microfarad and you can only find a a 20 or a 25 microfarad on our website, always go to the 20 microfarad. If you go to the 25 microfarad, this will increase the current in the start winding on the electric motor, which is not a good thing. It can overheat and, and trip out unnecessarily. So always go down. For example, a 22 microfarad, if you replace it with a 20, that's fine. Um, so try to keep the sizes always the same. If in doubt, always go down in size, never go up in size. If you've got any 
any questions regarding your capacitor size, feel free to give us a call anytime on 1800 648 363 or pop us an email if it's after hours at sales at directpillsupplies.com.au. Thank you for listening.